Your partner's not your therapist. Your partner's not your sex educator per se. Um, that's not what they're showing up to be. I had a woman who was like, well, I have a new lover and I'm kind of hoping he'll be my sexual healer. And I was like, no, <laughs> he's signing up for a lover. He's signing up for a partner, a date, whatever. He's not signing up for the job of being your sexual healer. And he probably doesn't have the skills. Right. Um, when women go into a space of wanting, and, and half of our women are married, FYI, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and some of the husbands found the retreats for the women, okay? So um, at the retreat, you have an opportunity to maybe share your fantasies with somebody who you don't live with. So if I am being really vulnerable with my husband, per se, let's say with my husband, mm -hmm. and I say to my husband, well, I read 50 Sage of Grey, and I'm really curious about rope and spanking. He may say, great, let's try that. Or he may go, you're a fucking freak. Right? right? Like, you want me to spank you? You want me to like, and so now my partner knows forever this thing about me. Right. So sometimes we need a safe space where we're not going to be judged. We're going to be accepted and, and our needs are going to be fulfilled with a professional who knows what they're doing. Right. And we get to explore our fantasies. We get to explore touch. Maybe with our partner, we're not having satisfying sex because we don't know how to speak it. We don't mm -hmm. even know what it feels like to have satisfying touch. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't know our own bodies. How are we going to tell our partner what we want? So in in these sessions, the women have an opportunity to speak their fantasies, to experiment with touch. It's centered on them. What is it that you need, want, desire? I don't know. Let's experiment. What feels good to you? They know that there's no intercourse. Mm -hmm. They know that there's not going to be a surprise penis popping out. That they're, they know that they're not expected, nor, are, or, nor is it in our agreements for them to pleasure our practitioners. Everything that is done is for them. Our practitioners keep their clothes on. When we do genital touch, they wear gloves. Mm -hmm. And there is loving connection. Mm -hmm. They they will feel cared for and held and appreciated. And the women talk about the acceptance. And so that's what a practitioner, he's like a Sherpa. He's a guide for this woman, this vulnerable, possibly frightened woman initially, mm -hmm. to hold her through that and our practitioner's because we do so many retreats a year and they work with so many different kinds of women have a tremendous amount of historical knowledge mm -hmm. as well as knowing that every woman is her own self. This is Lynn Fraser. Join us for the 2024 Radical Recovery Summit, January 12th to 21st. RadicalRecoverySummit.com.